This video covers the point of sale training for the concession areas, both snack bar and coffee. The goal is to give you an overview so you can confidently set up and run the registers in the concession areas. We are going to go over these five steps, getting started, transaction processes, tenders, returns, refunds, exchanges, and closing drawers. Square POS is what we use in concessions, snack bar, coffee shop, and crafts on either registers or iPads. Both are ran from apps, so we get automatic updates much like you would on your phone. But being an app, it also means sometimes things glitch and you need to restart your system much like you would on your phone. Overall, it is a simple system that is very intuitive and user friendly. So let's dive in. Give me a second here as we switch over to Square POS. All right, as you open up Square POS, it will bring up the passcode screen. Each of you are given a passcode, whether you are retail manager, uh, the specialist intern or a cashier, you each get your own assigned passcode and you will enter that in at the screen. And those are all based on your roles and um, what permissions you get to use based on your role. So here, the first thing you see is the register screen. I have at the top, you can see I have a snack bar version and I have a coffee shop version. We're gonna use the snack bar for, um, for this video. So the first thing you need to do is start your drawer. To do this, you can go to more and reports and start drawer. So here it tells you what your starting cash amount is. Mine says it's supposed to be $300. I wanna verify that um, what I have in my drawer matches. So I'm gonna go and utilize this uh, ca cash calculator and I'm gonna enter in my numbers, count it up. It says $300, so I'm good. Oops, wrong one. Go back to square POS, enter in my passcode. Now I can confirm and start my drawer that I started with $300. I'm gonna go back out to the checkout screen and now I'm ready to start selling. It won't even let you um, sell anything if you have not started your drawer. So if you had hit Blizzard before you started your drawer, it would say it would take you to the start drawer screen. So it's something that you will have to do before you make any transactions. All right, so now you're looking at our snack bar menu. Um, the menu screen is set up however you like. I have it set up with the categories at the top and then each column below are frequently used items in each of those categories. I also added gift cards as that's something that you'll do a lot in the snack bar and coffee shop. So in the snack bar and coffee shop, items are generic. And when I say that, like you see Blizzard, Soft Serve, Slushy, White Mocha Mocha, those are all generic items. And then each item has a variation. So I'm gonna click on Blizzard. So Blizzard is my um, item and it's generic name. And then here at the top, I have what we call variations and these will be sizes or types. So my, I have an option for a mini blizzard, a large blizzard or that regular one. I'm gonna choose mini blizzard. And then below here are what we call modifiers. And those modifiers are um, specific to your camp. And so those could be flavors or options. So here for blizzards, my flavors that I offer are Butterfinger, gummy worms and Oreos. So I'm gonna select Butterfinger and then hit add. And so on the right-hand side, you'll see that we have a blizzard for sale for $2. It's a mini blizzard with Butterfinger. And that helps relate to those that are making it what to make. All right. Um, let's also look at something like the push pop. So the frozen novelty is just frozen novelty ice cream items. So you'll select that. The variation is a different type, all the types of frozen novelty. So it's just push pop and hit add. And I don't have any modifiers on that. Um, it's just is what it is. Now, if you look to the right, you know, I have my blizzard frozen novelty, and then it says add discount. In snack bar and coffee and crafts, we have no discounts. So there are no, you'll never ever use add discount in the snack bar or coffee shop. All right. And then at this point, you're ready to 
tender them out. You can select charge $3 there at the bottom blue box. And then it'll say, this is your tender screen where you will select the payment type. They can, if they're using a credit card or a gift card or a P card, a P card is a Young Life issued credit card. It says Young Life on it. They could insert that in the card reader themselves, tap it, whatever. Um, and then if they pay with cash, it gives us the exact amount option. And then it gives us, you know, uh, the closest increments after that. If they have a $50 bill, you could hit custom and type in 50 and then send it on the screen. Um, then we also have check as an option. We still accept checks. They just need to make it out to Young Life and then the camp name and we'll accept that. There is card on file. That's something that you'll utilize with gift card. Um, and that there is another video training video on gift cards that you'll watch after this. So that's something that we'll go into more detail on that. So I'm not going to go any farther in detail. Um, other payment types is something we call internal transfer. So an internal transfer is when an area director maybe wants to come and um, bill his area for the purchases he's using um, in the snack bar because this is his ministry. And so you'll go to other payment types and you're gonna type in IT, IT stands for internal transfer, and then ask them what their area number is and type that in. And you're gonna write no more or no less in that. So it's always IT AZ 53. And that allows us to run a report for IT of all the IT tra um, transactions that were ran that day and send that to the bookkeeper so they know to bill their areas. So. IT, area number, nothing more, nothing less, and then hit record payment. Um, let's do another one. All right. And then, um, like I said, if you, this gift card and manual credit card entry, that's if the swiper isn't working and you need to manually enter in those numbers, you can. And then in the top right hand corner, we have something called split amount. So if someone has, say they have like a dollar left on their gift card, they can use a dollar on their gift card and then they can use the remaining 250 in cash from here. So multiple ways they can pay. We're just gonna say they did all cash and it's done. In the snack bar, there's not a ton of returns. Um, there may be some changing of minds or oops, I overcharged them and need to give them some money back. And that usually happens immediately. So we're going to go to transactions and grab that um, transaction. All right, let's go to this one. Um, and you're gonna select issue refund. And so on this one, I have a blizzard and the frozen novelty that's a push pop. And he says, you know, what? I don't, I don't want the push pop. That's not what I thought it was. And so we're just going to refund him for this push pop. And I'm going to select push pop and then hit next. And then I would hit re the reason. So we'll say return goods and refund or canceled order and then refund. Um, the other thing you can do is if you like, so let's say, what do we say? We charge $2 for the blizzard and it was supposed to be a dollar. Um, then we can issue a refund under amount of just the dollar amount. You're not refunding the whole thing. You're just refunding uh, an amount. And just do that and I'll say next and the reason, accidental charge and refund and you're done. Like I said, that'll probably be rarely in the snack bar. Um, again, gift cards, we do sell camper gift cards in the snack bar to use and that way they don't have to uh, carry cash with them all day. They can come to the snack bar and use their camper gift card. They can also use their gift card whether they're at the snack bar or coffee shop, they can use it at both places. However, uh, at the end of the week when they want to come and cash out whatever they have left on their gift card, they have to do it at the location uh, that they purchased it at. Again, um, that all that information is on the training video. We also set up what we call area or department tickets. And that's basically a running tab for areas and for um, camp departments that are purchasing throughout the whole week and that'll enable them to have one charge at a time um, for the entire week. Again, 
there's a gift card training video that you'll watch after this that'll give you that whole process. All right, so at the end of the day, you're gonna to need to close your drawer. And to do that, we go to more reports, same place you did to open your drawer. Now you're going to end your drawer. We're gonna hit in drawer and you'll see the expected in drawer is 30350. I'm going to go back to my cash calculator app and um, count my cash. Now, when we're counting cash, every time we count cash in the snack bar or coffee shop, um, we always wanna have uh, fiscal accountability. And so we always require two people to be counting cash um, so that they can double count each other and just have some accountability. So you guys will count your money and then say, okay, we had, sorry, oh, wrong app. Go to the right app. All right, so I had actually 305 in my drawer not 3,005, 305 in my drawer. And then the description is going to be um, whatever is there in the summertime. It's gonna be something like session one, week two, day three. And then if it's in the school season, it's gonna be the name of your group. So let's say it's CPE students, right? And then, so it says our expected indoor was 30350. My actual indoor was 305. My difference means I was $1.50 over. You guys can double count again just to verify that your count was correct. And if it is, um, then it is what it is. And you hit end drawer, confirm end drawer, and now you're done. You're going to um, receive a drawer report. It'll be printed and it is the only report that we have that shows your cash over under. So we wanna stick that with your cash in a deposit bag. And then you guys will also write up a deposit slip. And with that deposit slip, you will um, add that to your deposit bag, put that in the safe, um, wherever the retail manager directs you so that they can complete the final deposit to, um, they'll run some reports and send that to the office to go to the bank. And that is it for the snack bar register.